Hello! Right, something a bit different this week. Part of an occasional series where we take the vlog on the road. And we have taken the vlog down the road from Dunleary to Paris Court in Wicklow. And we're in the Paris Court Hotel, which, you know, when I die, I have no interest in going to heaven. I would just like to come here thanking you very much. Now, I'm going to show you because we're in a suite. We're in a Mountain View suite. Now, unfortunately, you can't really see the mountain at the minute because um, we're having some incredibly surprising rainfall. Um, we don't understand it. It's very, very rare for this to happen in Ireland. But uh, sure look, it. once in a while these things happen. Anyway, so I'm here with him there behind the camera, but also the Redsers are coming. And this is sort of an annual event. And um, they, um, they're they so funny. They, they love it here. And old woman gives out to me and says I've ruined them by bringing them here because now they think all hotels are like this one, like the fabulous swimming pool and stuff. And the thing that really kind of caught their imagination and made them sort of wild with excitement is the whole thing of room service. Um, the, just the fact that you could walk into a room and pick up a phone and speak to a Hungarian man called Tibor, because it's always Tibor, um, and he's from Hungary. Um, we know him really well at this stage. Um, and then like half an hour later, burgers and chips would come. And one of my happiest things really is sitting watching the Redsers eat their dinner. I mean, it's like, I mean, it is like feeding time at the zoo. Um, it is, you know, um, and like even like last, last, whatever day it was, last Sunday for Luca's birthday, um, baby Teddy was eating some of the, the cake, the chocolate cake, and I swear to God you could sell tickets. Like I would pay money to watch baby Teddy eating chocolate cake. I would pay to see it all day long. Right, I'm going to show you some of the things. Um, lovely roundy table um, where you could all sit around and chat if you were that way inclined. We don't really chat when we are eating us cheeses because we're too busy eating really, really fast. We eat, we speed eat. Um, we don't bother with conversation. I right, come in and I'll show you the lovely bedroom. This is the lovely bedroom and the beds are so comfortable. Now, this yoke, I will be stealing this when I leave. Every time I come here, I steal one of them. I put it in my handbag and I take it home and I paint it pink and then I covered it with black leopard print. Um, see little drawers and everything. The drawers, are, they're not easy to paint. But then when you put new knobs in it and everything, it really looks lovely. Now, this is really nice. Come and I'll show you this, right? This is the fabulous bathroom. But you see this here? It's a telly. Yeah, so you can be like washing your teeth or putting on your makeup and watching the telly. The Redsers, their heads nearly exploded um, at that bit. This here book, it's called The Real Liddy James and it's by Anne-Marie Casey. And this is her second novel. And somebody recommended it to me. It, it's been out a while. I think it's been out since March. And it is it's so elegantly written. It's witty, it's fun. It's about this fabulous woman, a, a New York divorce lawyer who, you know, works 15 hours a day and has two sons and her personal trainer comes at quarter to six every morning. And you know, one of those types and you just think, how in the name of God do people like that actually exist? Um, and it's, it's, there are no cliches in this, like everybody in it is very humane. It's about her relationship with her ex-husband and her ex-husband's new partner. And she has two sons and it's about that. And it's a pleasure to read because the writing is so good, but also, you know, it's quite glamorous. And, and I mean, anything, anything well-written set in New York does it for me. Um, uh, did I say, I think this is her second novel, um, and uh, I really, I'm, it was so enjoyable, kind of almost Nancy Mitford-esque, you know, that sort of wit, very arch, very light, but kind of truths hidden in the lightness. These are worry eaters. Uh, Oscar's telling me about them. I, I, I absolutely need one. This one is called Bill, or sometimes Billy. No, like, for long is Billy. Billy, right, Billy, for long. Yeah. And so if you have worries, you write it on a bit of paper, is that right? Yes, and then, then you, you put, put it in. 
they eat your worry. And you can put bad dreams in here as well. Well, yes, that's the same as worry. So anyway, it's my birthday soon and I'm going, I'm going to be given a worry eater by your family. A girl and Bill's a boy. I like pink. I like blue as well, but I think I'd prefer the pink. There's even a pirate one. With a pirate one? But that would make me think of Johnny Depp. No one have gone off him. This is the lovely grounds and it really is beautiful and the funny it's Sunday morning now but yesterday afternoon come on Dylan you can be in it me and mam and Rita Ann were up there having the afternoon tea you see and uh, and it was pelting rain down here and you were down here weren't you yeah. and Oscar and your dad and we were there living it up chinking the glasses of the champagne and the buns and everything and you were there standing looking up at us going I and mean, a little bit of a bun for us, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, isn't it beautiful? See, I love them, them trees over there. I love all of them. And uh, these then are handy for the Christmas trees. You could come down here and saw one down and, and bring it home on the roof of the car. That's what we do, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is. So, but um, it's chilly, chilly for the time of year, um, even for Ireland. So now we're going to go back in. So we're in the waiting room of the spa now and oh my god I love it here so much. It's the spa product so it's all aromatherapy and just oh, the smell and I actually have a, cam a candle from here that I light when I'm doing my scribing and it just just makes me really calm and really happy and I'm a bit we're being careful here because there are other people here and we don't want to mortify them because they're going around in their robes and everything so we won't linger but um I wish I could show you the upstairs and the rooms and everything and the and the Sonia area because it's so nice. But um, so we're going to stop now and we're going to tiptoe out. So that's it for this week. And on Wednesday, I'm off to Brazil for my book tour. So I will do a, at least one vlog while I'm there, but I don't really know when because it'll all be kind of mad and bananas and I'll be traveling on Monday. I will be jetting from Rio, no, from the, the Sao Paulo's to the Rio Janeiro's, uh, you know, so um, just one of those awkward things, you know. Uh, yeah, but I will, I'll vlog and send nice uh, messages from, from there to you. So thank you, I hope you have enjoyed this little um, staycation. And, um, and I will be in touch soon. Thanking you, thanking you, bye.